Hey guys, welcome to Desire of the Nations YouTube channel. We're so happy you're here. Today we have a lot to do. It is already 7.10. It is 7.10 p.m. right now. <laughs> Sadly, Joseph is at work right now. He is working 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., which means that me and Brave are here together alone tonight. If you haven't already guessed it, Joseph, Brave, and I are flying to Chicago for Christmas. We are so excited. If you're anything like us, you might have waited to the very last minute to pack and get everything ready for your trip. So tonight, me and Brave are gonna have to pack, clean, and get everything ready for our trip to Chicago. But first things first, I wanna get this little bit baby to bed. So right now, I just made Brave a bottle. We're gonna try to get him to sleep right now. I'm gonna turn out all the lights, put on some worship music, and we'll see if he falls asleep. All right, you ready for bed? You like vlogging, huh? All right, guys. So I just got brave to sleep right now and wow, I just, man, I gotta tell you guys, when I was playing the worship as brave was falling asleep, I don't even know if I'm gonna put this in the vlog, but there's this song playing. I really recommend you listen to it. It's called Getting Ready by Maverick City Music and Upper Room. It's funny because, you know, I'm here getting ready to go to Chicago and I'm packing. God kind of showed me you're doing things last minute and you know that's okay as long as things get packed as long as we make it there but I guess God kind of just began to reveal to me in that same way you know is that what we're doing as Christians or are they saving getting their heart right till the last second you know are we waiting till the last minute you know to polish ourselves up to clean up to call out to him you know jesus is coming back soon and we do need to be ready god is just so good everything he says everything he is is so beautiful you know if you really just sit down and think about it the fact that so many christians so many people all over the world who love jesus would rather give up this world would rather give away everything they have everything they own and just be left with him that should let you know especially if you're watching this and you don't don't know Jesus personally how beautiful and how valuable he is I just wanted to share that if you are Christian and you do know Jesus and you love him then you know how powerful this is the power of the gospel power of Jesus Christ I don't know why I'm crying it just it's so important. It's an important message. That was a moment that just happened. <laughs> I was not planning that at all. I just thought maybe I'd share that with you guys. Basically, I want to clean the house. I still need to pack our clothes. I'm pretty sure Joseph already has all his stuff together. I just need to actually pack it in a bag. I need to make sure I have all of Brave's proof of age documentation all together. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing to get ready. I'm just bringing you guys along with me and soon Joseph will be here. We'll show you guys the trip will show you guys the journey it's gonna be so much fun i'm really excited so yeah pack and clean with me as we get ready to go to chicago so we have the dishwasher going clean some of brave's things sink is clean. I cleared this part of the counter. Still have quite a bit to do in the kitchen, but we are getting there. So I heard the laundry just stop. I'm going to switch it right now, and then I'm going to finish wrapping presents. So right now it is 8.50. I guess we're making good progress. I have 
till 6 a.m. when Joseph comes home to have everything ready. Got myself a Canada Dry. I wrapped most of the presents. I just have a few more to wrap. guys so I'm not gonna lie I did take a pretty long break it is now 12 35 a.m. I have about five and a half hours until Joseph gets here but I did do a lot of cleaning in our room I got a lot of stuff together basically all I did was get some outfits for brave some really cozy things because it is gonna be cold in Chicago here's some things on the side for his diaper bag and then over here is Joseph's stuff it's just in a pile right now but he set everything aside for me before he left so I'm just just gonna go through it pack it all up in there and then this is where everything else is gonna go brave stuff my stuff the Christmas presents look who's awake hi <laughs> you say guy all right brave go back to sleep Okay guys, so I'm making a lot more progress. Here's the outfits I picked out for me. I'm gonna pack them up right now and then I think I'm pretty much done with all of our clothes. So I'm pretty much almost done. I'm literally finishing in the nick of time because Joseph will get here really soon. See you guys when Joseph gets home. All right guys, so we finally made it to the airport just in time. Joseph is here with me. He just got back from work. Are you tired? Super tired. He is going to sleep on the plane. I'm pretty like 100% sure that I have the traveler's anointing. So every single time I get on the plane, kid you not, like as soon as we board, I sit down in the chair and I'm like. Anyways, we just got to the airport, so we'll continue to keep you guys updated once we land in Chicago. Hey guys, so we made it to Chicago safely. We're so excited to be with Olathe's family, spending Christmas with them. So we wanted to end this vlog by saying Merry Christmas. We pray you guys have a great day today, a blessed day, and we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let your homes be filled with his joy and his presence, and let today be a reminder that Jesus is the desire of the nations.